And now John Paul Jr. picks up the lead of the race, but... And John Paul Jr. has taken the win. As with most of the thousands of people afflicted with Huntington's disease in this country, John Paul Jr., one of the nation's top professional race car drivers, began developing symptoms in the prime of his life. I was starting to invade my racing. I was having to actually talk my way around the track. Segments, basically. I was having to tell myself to turn, accelerate, brake, instead of it just flowing. It gave the victory to John Paul Jr. And I'll tell you what, this is an extremely deserving young man. John Paul Jr. wins. He was compared in motorsports to what Fernando Valenzuela was to baseball. And to be the very best at what you do and having that disease, you know, tie your hands so you can't do something that was as natural to you or I as breathing. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just not right. It's just not fair. My mother, she, she took me aside when I was five years old and told me that her mother had Huntington's. And there was a possibility that she, she might have it. So eventually she did get it. Well, it was kind of like, It's kind of unreal, really. At UCLA and the Huntington's Disease Society of America, researchers and families are fighting back against this inherited, cruel, and fatal disease. Huntington's disease is a genetic inherited disorder. People may have extreme difficulty walking. They may have to use a wheelchair. It may be impossible for them to do things even as simple as feeding themselves or dressing themselves. UCLA is a regional Huntington's disease center of excellence, combining comprehensive treatment, social services, education, and research. As we develop better understandings for what's causing Huntington's, then targeted approaches can be made to stop the problems from happening. The recent discovery of the Huntington gene, a mutation of one gene, number four, that sets in motion an attack deep within an area of the brain called the basal ganglia, offers tremendous hope, not only for those with Huntington's disease, but similar, more common, devastating neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. So we now know how this gene mutation causes damage in that very discrete part of the nervous system. We have treatments that protect nerve cells. We have antioxidant treatments that you know, help prevent further damage. We have drugs under development that can block the bad effects of the mutated gene. So a few years after the gene had been found, uh, there were maybe three human clinical trials that had been done or were being conducted in Huntington disease. Now there's 21. John Paul Jr. and other HD patients benefit from almost daily advances in the understanding of Huntington's disease. For John Paul Jr., the fight is not only for himself, but for his children, who may also have inherited the disease. I don't know if they'll find a cure, probably I don't know if they'll find one in my lifetime, but by the time my kids have to deal with it, that's the big thing that I'm worried about. A cure is out there, and so many people are affected by these degenerative diseases like Huntington's and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, and we're so close to a cure. And if, you know, he, his life can be used as an example to help other people, so that would be his ultimate winning race.